We have a very special player for you today, a wonder kid with great ability, but also lots of potential. But he has a certain few attributes that make him so OP in Football Manager. He's going to break all kinds of records in today's video and just might be one of the best players you can get in all of FM23. I doubt you've even really heard of him. Hi everyone, Jake here for FM Scout. Welcome to another episode of Wonder Kid to Superstar. Make sure you stick with us in this one because I'm going to show you exactly which attributes you want to get the most out of with this player to make him just as good as he is in today's video. If you do end up enjoying today's video, smash the like button for us and let us know in the comments down below who you'd like to see in the next episode of the series. And if you are in the percentage of people here watching who aren't subscribed, we greatly appreciate it if you would hit that button so we can get to our next target of 160,000 subscribers. But with that being said, let's go take a look at the player, shall we? We're heading over to Sporting Club de Portugal out in the Portuguese divisions and we are going to go by all players. Now, I don't have the Portuguese divisions loaded or anything like that in this save. All we've got is the Spanish league and the database size set to large. So there's about 12,000 players in this database. Yet yeah, this guy is going to be in here. You'll see a bunch of great young talents. Usmane Diamonde, a brilliant player. Estevez, Fatawu, Dario Asugio as well here is a great player. Player, but the player we're focusing on today is the young striker Yusuf Shermiti. Now this player is an absolute beast in game. If you haven't spotted why yet, I'll explain in a second. But just to lay out the basics, he has 140 to 170 potential ability. So if he falls on the lower end of that range, when you load up a save, you're still getting a very good striker. And on the higher end of that range, you are getting an elite level player. And either way, he's going to be worth the investment. I've seen him available for about £5 million in some saves. Because he's got the maximum potential here, his valuation is a little bit higher. But this young Portuguese striker, is a beast in game and let's find out why well this man is six foot four he's quick he's strong and he's tall now if you know anything about football manager this year as great as technical attributes are it tends to be if you have someone who's physically dominant whether that be extremely quick or really strong or great in the air you'll see really good performances from them in the in-game engine and Chemiti here is someone that fits that bill is he quick is he strong is he good in the air no He's good at all three and he's only going to get better as time goes on. Currently, a lot of those attributes are sitting in that 14, 13 region. Mentally, he has some weaknesses, but it doesn't mean that he's a bad player at all. He's still a very good young striker with plenty of time to get better. Between the ages of 18 and 21, the physical and mental attributes are going to grow at a very rapid rate. And then you get to his technicals where he's got decent technique, good heading ability, good finishing, decent dribbling and first touch. Not perfect in a technical sense, but those physicals are really good going to help him get by. Make sure you do stick with us in this one because you're going to be blown away not just by the amount of goals he scores and the records that he breaks but also the attributes that he develops. Now though I'm going to use the in-game editor to bring him over to our Real Madrid team and show you how we're going to set him up for success. Here you go, he's now in our Real Madrid team. We've set him up in a 4-3-3 and Yusuf Shamiti here is going to be our striker. Now we're using him as an advanced forward up front. That's not to say it's the only role that he can play. He's a great pressing forward with that work rate. Also a good target forward and I could definitely see him eventually with some training being a good complete forward. But for now, we'll keep it basic. We'll have him on this advanced forward duty and now he's ready to go in our team. In terms of training, again, we're only focusing in on the role to make it fair with all our other experts. Experiments, but for you guys, if you were doing an additional focus, I feel like final third would be very beneficial to him. His decision making, at least in this save, it might vary in yours, but his decision making is low in this save. His composure isn't the world's best either. So if we spend some time on that, hopefully we could improve it. But for the sake of the video, we'll go for none. And then we're also having him being mentored by Benzema and Modric to make sure that he can become a better player. Because right now his personality is balanced, which isn't terrible. It's also not great, but with some mentor, and hopefully that can change. In a few years, when he becomes a bit more of a complete player, he's definitely someone that I think you should maybe aim your corners at and have your players crossing it into his head. As good as he is at finishing, with that jumping reach, with that high and with that heading ability, if that can improve even a little bit, he is going to be deadly. So I'd definitely add that to his game if you can. Try and get him, at the very least, as the person that your corners are being aimed towards. Maybe play a crossing game to get the best out of him. But we're going to do nothing like that. We're just going to have him in the team for context as 
as this simulation goes on, he will take penalties for Real Madrid. So bear that in mind. Some of his goals will be penalty goals, but even still, he is going to blow you away. But first, let's see how he looks on the lower end of that potential range. So here we are in 2023. I've only simulated a year just to show you how we can get on. We've asked the assistant manager to play him as often as possible whilst we holiday, and he's developed really nicely. Now, he isn't currently at that 140 potential ability mark that would be his worst case. He's about 138 current ability right here. So worst case scenario, you'll get a player that looks something like this, who already you can see would have been worth the money. Getting him lots of game time at a high level and having him score goals has developed him a lot. Those physical attributes have came on, as have the mentals and the technicals are also improving, even if at a slower rate than his other attributes. You can see what we mentioned earlier about complete forward has came true. It's now a role that he would be able to comfortably fill. But when it comes to advanced forward, the role that he's playing for us, he's starting to be that player we need, the goal scorer we need. But you might be wondering, Jake, even without the development, can he score goals? Will he score goals for me straight away? Well, bear in mind we're at Real Madrid, so he's getting a lot of good service. But even with that being said, he can score for fun. Compared to some other players that we've had in these videos, he has got some incredible numbers already. 37 appearances in his first year and 44 goals. More than a goal a game, a 7.74 average match rate in. Shemiti here is incredibly good, but he's only going to get better. But now we'll quickly go to see him in the prime of his career to show you just how good he can be. Okay, we're now in 2033. 10 years have passed. Shemiti is in the prime of his career, about 28, 29 years old. And as you can see, he is considered the best player in this Real Madrid side. One of the best players in the world. Take a look at those attributes and whilst you do I'll just quickly let you know I do have my own channel linked in the description down below any support over there would be greatly appreciated we have some rebuild videos a let's play series and also some YouTube shorts about wonder kids you might not have heard of so come on over check it out hit the subscribe button I'd massively massively appreciate it but getting back to Chimiti he's 29 he is a beast 45 goals and 56 caps for Portugal if you thought it was us using some crazy tactic behind the scenes to get goals one, it's not, but two, that proves that it's not. Even for Portugal, he is scoring nearly a goal a game at this stage. Physically, he is incredibly good. He's quick, he is strong, he is great in the air. Chamiti has everything he needs to bully an opposition defence. Mentally, he has grown a hell of a lot. He's now a really strong mental prospect. And then technically, he's a great finisher. He's got great technique, great first touch and dribbling ability. Add into that the heading and the passing ability. And this guy really does have no weaknesses up front. Has he been scoring goals? Have a guess, guys. Have a guess. Has he been scoring goals? Of course he has. He's been scoring more than a goal a game every single season. But you can see here, there's some seasons where he's scoring 57 goals in 38 appearances. And remember, that is only in the league. And this is by no means his best season. I'll quickly show you that one. Here you go. An 8.6 average match rate in 75 goals in 38 appearances. And that was at the age of like 32, 33. In the save, he's still going. He's about to retire, but he did move on to PSG and continue to score goals there. Clearly, they're not as good of a team or at least aren't giving him the service he needs because he isn't scoring as much there, but he is still an incredible player. As I did mention, he is taking some penalties. So if we take a look in that 75 goal season, it says 10 of them were penalties in the league, but still that'll be 65 goals and 38 appearances, an incredible number. And he scored so many goals in this simulation, you wouldn't believe how good he is. And I'm telling you, it's because of those insane physical attributes. Not so good now that he's 36, but still a hell of a player. The question is though, did he win any Ballon d'Ors? And the answer is a resounding yes, winning three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the bounce whilst playing for Real Madrid, when in his prime from 2030 to 2037, he was the only player that won the Ballon d'Or. Incredible results from Chimiti. What a player, outscoring the likes of Haaland. Maybe he's a new Haaland in FM23 with those insane physical attributes. Let me know what you think down below, but I'm going to give him a huge 11 out of 10. He's way better than 10 out of 10. This guy is one of the best you can get. And for under 10 million, you are guaranteed goals with those physical attributes. Let me know if you've used him in the comments down below. But most of all, have a great day, everyone. And I'll see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.